I enjoy reading Richard Rohr's meditations, and this week his whole meditations are on gratitude and thanksgiving and being thankful. And so I thought it'd be nice to start with one that he points out about in Philippians chapter 4, 6 to 7 verse. And we're reminded in this reading that to pray with gratitude and the peace of Christ, which is bigger than knowledge or understanding and will guard both our minds and our hearts in Christ Jesus. Only a pre-existing attitude of gratitude, a deliberate choice of love over fear, a desire to be positive instead of negative will allow us to live in that spacious place in the peace of Christ. The next prayer that I'd like to share with you is a simple, a simple prayer of gratitude. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings you have bestowed on my life. You have provided me with more than I could ever have imagined. You have surrounded me with people who always look out for me. You've given my family and friends who bless me every day with kind words and actions. They lift me up in ways that keep my eyes focused on you and make my spirit soar. Also, thank you, Lord, for keeping me safe. You protect me from those things that seem to haunt others. You help me make better choices and provide me with advisors to help me with life's difficult decisions. You speak to me in so many ways that I always know you are here. And Lord, I am so grateful for keeping those around me safe and loved. I hope that you provide me with the ability and sense to show them every day how much they matter. I hope that you give me the ability to give to them the same kindness they provided to me. I'm extremely grateful for all your blessings in my life, Lord. I pray that you remind me of each of how each blessed how blessed I am and that you never allow me to forget to show my gratitude in prayer and re- return acts of kindnesses. Thank you, Lord. My next prayer is from a grateful heart and it's by E B W E B Boyce. Give us thankful hearts. In this season of thy thanksgiving, may we be thankful for health and strength, for sun, rain, and peace. Let us seize the day and the opportunity, strive and strive for that greatness of spirit that measures life not by disappointments, but by the possibilities. And let us ever remember that true gratitude and appreciation shows itself neither in independence nor satisfaction, but passes the gift joyfully on in larger and better forms. Giving thanks. Giving thanks for the expanding grandeur of creation, worlds known and unknown, galaxies beyond galaxies, filling us with awe and challenging our imaginations. We give thanks this day for the fragile planet Earth, its times and tides, its sunsets and seasons. We give thanks this day for the joy of human life, its wonders and surprises, its hopes and achievements. We give thanks this day for our human community, our common past, our future hope, our oneness transcending all separation, our capacity to work for peace and justice in the midst of the hostility and oppression. We give thanks this day for the high hopes and the noble causes, for faith without, without fanaticism, for understanding of views not shared. We give thanks this day for all who labored and suffered for a fairer world, who have lived so 
that others might live in dignity and freedom. We give thanks this day for human liberty and sacred rights, for opportunities to change and grow, to affirm and choose. We give thanks this day. We pray that we may live not from our fears, but by our hopes, not by our words, but by our deeds. We give thanks this day. This next prayer is from the Keys of Jeshua. Teach me, O God, the majestic lesson of your seasons. Teach me that everything is reborn from winter, is in its own time according to its own purpose. Teach me the freshness and joy of springtime. Teach me the expansion of summer ripe with gratitude. Teach me the silence of autumn, filled with contentment. Teach me the, to surrender, teach me the surrender of winter that accepts and unites. In all these cycles, I feel the rhythm of eternity. Most of all, I give thanks for this moment in time, for the fountain of life, that surely supplies my tomorrows. Amen. The next prayer is called All the More. If the dark, great darkness is descending, let me praise all the more, every ray of light. If extinction is on the horizon, may I cherish each bird's unique song as it greets the sunrise. If famine is our future, May I savor all the more each meal eaten with those I love while it is yet possible. May I be more generous, more giving, more grateful, more present and awake to the beauty that is still here today. May I be grateful. Amen. And the last reading is from the Bible, Jesus Calling Bible by Sarah Young. And this reading is called Thankfulness. Let thankfulness rule in your heart as you thank me for blessings in your life. A marvelous thing happens. It is if scales fall off your eyes, enabling you to see more and more of my glorious riches. With your eyes thus open, you can help yourself to whatever you need in my treasure house. Each time you receive one of my golden gifts, let your thankfulness sing out to my name. Alleluia's are the language of the heaven, and they can become the language of your heart. A life of praise and thanks- thankfulness becomes a life full of miracles. Instead of trying to control You focus on me and what I'm doing. This is the power of praise, centering your entire being in me. This is how I created you to live, for I made you in my own image. Enjoy abundant life by overflowing with praise and thankfulness. Amen. Amen.